Okay, so the idea behind this is to have a self-describing CSS workflow that includes all of the style sheets, the runtimes, the tools, and the workflow instructions for processing that so that your CSS for whatever project you're building in whatever environment using whatever stack is able to take care of itself and then you can continue building the rest of the stuff. So here I've got an empty project folder that has styles and a package.css in it and there's a dist folder where the output can go. So pretend that there could be any other folders here for anything else that you're building. Um, inside the package.css, there's a little rule here that gives us a tiny bit of configuration and it says the style sheets to be included in this workflow are found here and the output is to go here. So if we look at the dist folder, there's gonna be output.css just like we wrote in this file. Now, when we go to the styles URL here, this is another folder, and inside that folder there's another package.css. So if we had written styles slash package.css, it would load the same thing. This just resolves to the same file. Or we could have put something um, if there was a specific file here. But we're going to load this folder. In this folder there's another package.css. So here in the styles package.css we see three of these packages and there could be other styles in here too which would get loaded after these. In the first one we're defining a CSS style sheet in the CSS folder um, so that's right here and there's just one thing in it and we have an instruction for how to pre-process that before you bring it into this file right here and the tools that are required for that are process CSS demo. The second thing that we're going to pull into this file after this one is sass, sass.scss. So in this folder we've got a sass file with a little bit of sass syntax. We have an instruction for how to preprocess that, and this would be a placeholder for all of the style sheets that we load in. And we have mentioned here that um, the tools required here are SAS. Now the last one is loading a style sheet from the less folder called less.less. .less. There's a command for how to build that. Again, this represents however many style sheets we've loaded in here. That's what's going to be run through that command and the tools required are less C. So when we run um, this file through this command, and then when we run this file through this command, and then when we run this last one that I hadn't even shown yet, the less file, through the less command, we should end up with a style sheet that has the output of those three style sheets. And according to the original package that we've loaded, it's defined the output here. So if we check that folder, we should get this is the result of that plain CSS style sheet being run through. And then below that we have the output of the SAS being compiled. And then below that we have the output of the less being compiled. So none of these included any JavaScript runtimes or any custom JavaScript plugins that need to be included on the front end. This has just been a CSS to CSS kind of pre-process transformation. But that gives you an idea of how perhaps these package files could be used to describe the workflow, to define the dependencies, the tools, and kind of encode what needs to be done with them in a way that is separate from NPM, separate from JavaScript, separate from any kind of a workflow that would be a language specific or stack specific or environment specific kind of thing. Um, Ideally, or hopefully at some point in the future, you might be able to load something like this in the browser and have code in the browser, whether that's a plugin or native, but most likely a plugin, be able to read it and process it with browser based things as well to do something very similar. So I'm not even hoping that this is a server side only kind of thing. I'm hoping that this is more of a generic configuration option for encoding your workflow in CSS, no matter where that's used. So hopefully that clears it up or gives an illustration of where I'm hoping this is headed. Thanks.